What's going on guys, Dots here, and today I'm bringing you a guide on how to get and enhance Fallen God Armor in Black Desert Online. Fallen God Armor is a type of armor that you can get once you've acquired a piece of pen boss armor that allows you to essentially further improve it and gain additional bonuses. This is your best in slot armor piece and it's something that every single player in BDO who engages in combat will be pursuing, which is why I wanted to make a basic guide on it today. Now, this is a long-term goal that you'll be setting for yourself and something that you'll be working on over time as getting to Fallen God is a pricey endeavor, but still, it's good to know how to actually acquire this piece so that you can plan for it appropriately. Now, what you need to actually start getting a piece of Fallen God armor is you need to get one of your armor pieces, you need to get it to pen, and then you need to get it to Kafras level 10 in order to be able to start the process of getting it to Fallen God. If you don't know what Kafras are, I have a guide on my YouTube channel which explains what they are and how enhancement works and just how, you know, the understanding that system is going to be important to understanding the rest of this video. So if you don't know how that works yet, link in the description below. Now, you have two armor types that you can essentially get to pen, which will then you'll be able to convert into Fallen God armor. You have your Dim Tree or you have Red Nose, which is what you can see that I'm wearing. Now, the general rule of thumb that I recommend to most people is I think Red Nose is the better two to get between uh, Dim Tree and Red Nose. Even though Dim Tree as a piece is better, as you can see, you get 200 max HP just versus an increased HP recovery on Red Nose. If you look under item effect there near the bottom of the tooltips, like Dim Tree looks better on paper. But the thing is, Red Nose requires way less Kafras in order to actually get to that Kafras level 10. So Red Nose only requires 7,224 Kafras, while Dim Tree requires 8,260 Kafras, which is about 3 billion silver difference. So just going with Red Nose is going to make it much cheaper to actually get Fallen God in the long term, which is why I typically recommend that people go and choose that as your chest piece. Now, besides this chest piece and getting it to Coffers level 10, you also need this item called the Flame of Despair. As you can see, there's plenty in stock right now. It's not that expensive. Um, the Flame of Despair is the item you need to actually be able to, you gotta hand that in with your uh, C10 chest piece to an NPC, which I'll talk about in a bit. And then that's how you actually get the Fallen God piece. Now, personally, I would recommend that you purchase it off the MP because, again, there's plenty in stock. It's not that expensive. But if you do want to farm it yourself, you can farm it at uh, Turo's, which is going to be northwest of Odraxia, as you can see right here. It's a 270 AP spot, but it is a group spot, so you are going to want a party of two. And as you can see, the Flame of Despair is an option to drop there. But... I just personally think it's way easier to just buy it off the MP, saves you a lot of time. The drop rate at Turos is pretty low for the flame, so I just think purchasing it is the way. Now, like I said, guys, once you have your C10 armor piece and your flame, you're going to need to take it to Doran Morgrim. So just so I can show you where he is, um, I will put it on my map really fast. So hit M, and as you can see, he is just south of the Helm's Post. There's like a thing in the mountains you can go to in here, and he is deep in the mountains. Now, he's also good to go to because there's a logbook affiliated with him that has an AP and DP uh, attached to it. So it's good to go find him and talk to him anyway, just to get knowledge of his location. But he is right here at Helm's, which is just northeast of uh, Hydel. So not that far of a run. You just have to simply bring your flame and the armor to him, do a very short quest chain, and you'll be given a piece of pen fallen god armor. Now, the Pen Fallen God is actually just the base piece, and it can be enhanced further, like I mentioned, to get additional stats. But instead of increasing and in rating, the piece will just get a new title. So I'll put a chart on the screen right here that shows the stats, the enhancement level, and the name of the piece as you enhance it. You'll often hear people refer to it as Duo Fallen God or Tri Fallen God, but it actually doesn't show up as Tri on the piece. It just shows up as with that different corresponding name. So refer to the chart if you are ever confused. Used. Now, to actually enhance the Fallen God armor, you need a Flawless Chaotic Blackstone. Now, those are created from Sharp Black Crystal Shards, Hard Black Crystal Shards, a Mass of Pure Magic, and then 10 Kafras, or one Flawless Magical Blackstone and 10 Kafra Stones. You use, I think it's probably simple heating to create those. It'll say on the tooltip that I have on the screen, and then boom, you can actually create that Chaotic Blackstone. 
Now, once you have your Fallen God armor and your Chaotic Blackstones, it is enhancing time. Fallen God enhancement requires some pretty juicy fail stacks to enhance to the higher levels. And I will also put a screenshot on my screen, courtesy of Prim on Reddit, that shows you what fail stacks give you what percentage values for an enhancement on your Fallen God piece. Now, the rule of thumb when enhancing Fallen God is to raw tap your base armor to the desperate armor, which is like pry, and then raw tap your desperate to distorted. Now, you want to do that just kind of due to how high the chances are for the pry and duo. You know, it's really not overly difficult, so it's better to just save your crons. And then once you get past that, that's when you'll want to be using any cron attempts on your Fallen God armor, so that try Fallen God or above. Now, in terms of what fail stacks you should use, I've seen people talk about their own preferences and what you should use, and this is the best and whatever. But ultimately, I just think you should use whatever fail stacks you're comfortable with. Um, if it were me, I would use between 70 and 90 for Desperate, and for Distorted, I would personally use between 130 and 150. Now, I'm typically a bit more conservative with my enhancing, though, so if you want to use smaller stacks and work up, that's totally up to you. Once you start enhancing for Silent Fallen God, like I said, which is that try, you're going to want to use some big boy stacks and use those with your Kron since the percentages to successfully enhance are very small and you also don't want to downgrade. But guys, I think with that being said, that's going to be it for today's guide. Nice, short, sweet, and to the point on Fallen God armor. Hopefully, you guys did find this video helpful. And if you did, I would appreciate if you smacked the like button. Any questions about this, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you are newer to Black Desert Online and want to see some other beginner guides, I have a ton on my YouTube channel. You can see I have a Black Desert Online playlist filled with beginner guides. So feel free to check those out. And if there's something that you want covered that I don't have a guide yet, feel free to leave a comment down below. And I will add that into my video you so feel free to subscribe to make sure that you keep up to date with all of those videos so thank you so much for stopping by today everybody i really do appreciate it as always i'm dots gaming and i'll see you all in the next one